Okay, I know what you mean. Okay, now we are talking. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Yen. Hello, I'm Fiona. And this episode, we're going to share some of our favorite mm. affordable skincare or some of you may call it drugstore products. Mm, and we'll let you know which one stood out for us the most. In case you're wondering who's the beauty and who's the gate, you can leave a comment down below and let us know. And hit the bell button and subscribe. Fiona, I know today you brought mm. your three favorite skincare. Yes, and you brought well, a lot. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just a mixture of things that I day, uh, use on a daily basis. Okay. But um, I would say these are really affordable in mm. terms of price point. Mm. And some of them kind of like caught me by surprise. So I wanted to share a little bit more. But uh, seriously, when I looked into it, I realized that I've got a few gem, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited to, to share with everyone today. Okay, so yeah. which is the first you're going to share with us? Okay, the first one, um, considering I... Okay, I'm not really into Korean beauty or skincare On for some contrary, reason. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so we, we share tips quite a fair bit. So mm. the, the first one that I'm going to introduce is actually this product. If you can see, it's actually an empty bottle. Yeah. Just to prove my point, right? <laughs> ah, there you go. I think this is probably my second bottle. So is this brand called Sun & Park? Sun & Park Beauty Bottle. Uh, beauty Water, sorry. So... This is actually pretty much like an essence where after you cleanse your face, you double cleanse your face if you want to do a toner. But for me, I typically skip the toner mm -hmm. and I go straight into this essence. Um, so when we talk about affordable, I'm going to tell you how much this costs, okay? So this costs about um, US $30. And the last time um, a friend of mine went to Korea and I actually got her to buy like a bundle deal. So if you're in Korea or if you plan to travel in Korea anytime soon, I think this is a good product to stock up. Okay, so while I'm talking about this, you get to try. How okay, about okay, that? I'll okay, I'll try this. So do you need to remove makeup? No, no makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any makeup on. Well, just checking, you know? I'm just going to, yeah. So for this particular uh, song, I keep saying song and part, sun and part beauty water, is I find that immediately my skin feels a lot more plumped um, and I see the luminosity in my skin. That's what I truly enjoy about this. Mirror. Oh, oh hey, the mirror is very big. Eh? It's okay. Yeah. Sorry, the mirror is here. So you can see that immediately, right? Just at like this area itself. Uh, for me, I, I, I kind of look at my, you know, cheekbone area. There's this area where I put my highlighter, right? Like immediately you can see that the skin is hydrated and there's a sense of brightness. Sense of brightness. Hmm. There is like a tinge of brightness. Okay. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. something which is in my list I really love. Okay. Uh, which is pretty much along the same lines of an essence is actually the Neogen um, Real Ferment Micro Essence. Mm -hmm. I think this is quite talk about okay. on YouTube. Um, what I really love about it is it's the cheaper cousin of SK2. What? Did you just say the cheaper cousin? <laughs> yeah, it's really the cheaper uh, mm. cousin. I mean, I've been using SK2 for quite a while yeah, and too. I agree that it really works. Yeah. I realized for mm. Neogen, I like it because first of all, it's a price point. Okay. It's around $30 USD, oh, that's, that's uh, which is really great. Okay. In terms of the efficacy, I would say it's almost on par for me. I mean, you have to give and take. Okay. After all, it's 30 bucks compared to what, 200 over Yeah. Yeah, for SK2. Okay. So without further ado, okay. um, she yeah, you, 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 oh, I'm sorry, you were supposed, to, yeah. <laughs> you have to remove your makeup. Yeah, it's okay because you will realize that this is worth it. So guys, <laughs> you're so honored, no? You get to see me. <laughs> without makeup on. Okay, you don't have to, you don't, you don't have to remove your eye makeup. Of course, I wasn't yeah. ready to, what are you talking about? Okay, okay, okay. So I notice every time I remove my makeup, the first thing um, that I notice would be my face will get very red. Mm. Is, that, is that something that you face as well, Yen? Okay, um, actually I didn't know that I have sensitive skin ah. till recent. So uh, what happens for me is that after I apply my, you know, uh, my day moisturizer and everything, uh -huh. my skin is quite um, blush, okay. not in a good way. Okay. Uh, I can jump straight into my second product oh, since then. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, I actually found this red erasing cream. Um, I saw the advertisement on Facebook was crazy. They keep promoting this. Uh, but it got me at a point where it says that it really kind of like help sensitive skin to tame the redness. Oh. At, a, at the same time, it really brightens up the skin. So I did a little bit of research um, and 
I think for this product, the two key ingredients inside is hyaluronic acid. Okay. The other thing is actually, oh my god, I can't pronounce that. It starts with an N. Nai Michi. Okay, anyway, I'm going to put down here. Uh, so these two items, basically one um, is for hydration. Oops. Hydration and uh, taming for your skin and brightening as well. So what I really like is that initially I didn't really like the texture. It's really very gluey, very thick. Uh, but once you have applied and you kind of like let it sit for a minute, right? You realize that it really kind of like tame the skin really well. At the same time, what it does is that it really brightens the skin tone. So it's a bit of that K drama effect on screen. K drama effect. No, trust effect? me, it really, it really brightens up the skin. So later, okay. okay, once you have tried the mm. bio, sorry, okay. the Neogen uh, Real Ferment Essence, okay. then you try this to okay. see how it works. That I'm gonna try it now. How do you usually? Okay, I'll just pat on my hand. It's exactly how you apply SK2. Yeah. A little too much. Too no, 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 no. It's like myself. I'm quite generous with it. Oh. Um, yeah. So. Generous? I cannot just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know what you mean. Okay, now we are talking. I like the brightening effect. Um. So sometimes if I'm free in the morning or at night, um, what I would do is I'll actually do like a couple of layers, three oh. to four layers, when I'm really free. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now I know what you're talking. I know what you're talking! Okay, okay. So, this is my first layer. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I will do my, my patting motion. Is even oh yeah, okay. I like it when it's really absorbed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, first of all, it absorbs really quickly. Mm, yeah. um, which means that it makes your routine a lot faster. Um, Texture-wise, strangely, oh, it, it feels a cross between SK2 and you know this brand called Hada Labo yeah. that they are known for this whole hy hydration the sticky uh, lotion hy hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, acid right? yes yeah hyaluronic acid yeah, yeah. so it, it, it's a little like that because um, it has a little bit of that I don't know that, that doing doing actually thing. I feel that beauty yeah. water is slightly more viscous in terms of consistency ah okay so if I were to rank in terms of consistency mm. like being the most fluid all the way to the thickest mm -hmm. um, Hada Labo definitely is the thickest yeah then the lightest might be SK2 followed by Neo Gen, yeah. then Beauty Water okay yeah. then it kind of makes sense because um, this one it says it claims here that it deeply Dehydrate. hydrates your skin yes so I think that's where it, it, it comes into play the brightening part okay I, I don't know whether you can capture that on screen but quite immediately right I can see here um, that's a very beautiful like shine glow yeah glow it's glow always the glow word. that I realise yeah, I, I and, like it a lot and also this portion over here what I about that portion? you know because <laughs> the beauty here self okay. proclaim has what we call the bangs okay yes um, and for those of you uh, men or women out there whether you have bangs or not I think very importantly the glow doesn't doesn't only just come from the mm. face itself yes I think if you talk about even like techniques in makeup when you talk about highlighting you always talk about here and the nose so when you put products right that's where I typically will see the areas where I highlight my face when I'm using my makeup whether the product does that for me okay yeah so that's where the highest point of the face is that's where okay. you catch the light fair enough, fair yeah. enough. okay I like this okay so just now I talked about this red erasing mm. cream so we're gonna try it so uh, we're gonna try it together since yeah. then um, there's a new bottle because I just finished mine we can just open and try and the price point for uh, it's pretty cheap as well maybe like 20 plus USD oh okay, you really what's... love the Korean say Korean okay, frankly huh? speaking in all when I first saw this brand, right, mm -hmm. I felt a bit dubious. <laughs> really, really. I, I actually encountered this brand when I was uh, working for the media. And they were sort of like advertising. So when I saw the brand, I wasn't fully convinced. Okay. So finally, after the series of advertisements they've done on Facebook, okay. I decided to try it. And okay. true enough, it really impressed me. Like, I would okay, say. where can you get this again? Uh, in drugstores. In Singapore, if you're a Singaporean, Guardian, that's where you're going to buy oh, this. Okay. Uh, overseas, you can buy online. I think they actually ship uh, overseas, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I'll just try out half of my face and I hope you can see the real difference. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's basically... So it looks like that. Yeah. Like, okay. It, it's, Are you doing half the face? Mm, initially, it's really a bit gluey one. Initially, yeah, the texture. I, mm, I didn't like it because it was so gluey. Okay, the thing about this product is after you have applied it on, please let it sit for a while. Don't be anxious about it and, you know, apply your sunblock immediately. Because that's when you're going to see 
how it really tames the skin. Um, not forgetting the neck. <laughs> okay, um, upon application, mm -hmm. I do realize that um, this is definitely a, a little bit on a um, thicker mm. uh, texture. <gasps> Actually, on screen, you could totally tell like half my face now. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah. <gasps> It works really well for me. Does it have a bit of a blurring effect as well? Because uh, this face looks a bit filtered. I mean, my eyes are not filtered. Yeah. It looks so, a bit filtered. Because my, my face is quite sensitive. It blushes quite easily. So this side is really... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, for me, is there any difference? Like You're quite fair to begin with. I think what you will try to identify is really like radiance. For me, it does well when it comes to radiance yeah. and hydration. But you should be more generous, eh? Oh, I realized really? that okay. you, you applied. To me, that was like only half of my well, face. Well, you know, my face is small. <laughs> <laughs> no contour. <laughs> yeah, so if you can tell, the left side, which is here, is really a lot more brighter compared to the right side. Uh, okay, so one thing that's important to note uh, is uh -huh. that once it sets, right, um, it actually doesn't feel tacky. Yes. Which is uh, important, which means that for um, gentlemen out there, if you just want to like apply this, right, you can get out of the house just with some lock. This product I'm going to talk about next. Okay, it's really small and cute. I hope you guys can see it. Um, this is by Cora Organics. And of course, when I first saw the products, when I hear the word Cora Organics and I Google, it's by Miranda Kerr, which is a supermodel. Mm. And then the first thought is, okay, supermodel with her range of organic products, and how great can it be? So when I saw this, the first thing I was quite intrigued by, this is not new, lah, the whole roller concept thing. But what I like about this is that because it's oil based, right? What it does is, um, you know, we have all the fine lines around this area. Right. So with this, because it's an oil, so when you apply it on your hand, so it rolls, right? It's really, really very, very light and it absorbs very quickly. So how I would apply this is, I do this in the day and as well as at night. It's probably about US $40. So Sing is about $58. Mm -hmm. This is the wrong way to apply the product. <laughs> I don't want to dirty your roller, that's why. I'm just being hygienic about you, beauty products. No, I refuse to. Really? Wait. So, let's just clean this. Uh -huh. The whole point of the roller is it's around your eye, right? It's damn shock, ah. It is, it is, but... When you apply it first thing in the morning, it's got caffeine in it. I use in the morning as well. I use in the morning and night, so it's got caffeine, which helps to reduce the puffiness in the morning. Okay. When you do this whole application and you go around the eye, you know how when they, they always tell you to pat, 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 and then you Yes, go, yes. Hey, using this ah, versus this ah, is very different. It is very short and you can just go around and around and round around it. And then first I just oh, okay, okay, okay. let it flow out a bit. And then you can even like... Hey, like would it leak? No. Actually quite... I okay, like the tilt, full compress. Why don't you tilt your face up a little bit? Okay. And then imagine you are at like the spa, right? The thing is that what? Over apply, no right? With skincare, there's no such thing as over apply. Oh, actually, it's quite shook. Shook, right? It's quite comfortable. It's like I a know. cold stone massage. Exactly, which is why I love about this. This is my third favorite product. I constantly want my skin to be brighter. Yeah, I think we all do. Less dull. Yeah. And this is a thing that I always go to when I notice, okay, this week the skin is down. I need mm. to do this. So this is from The Ordinary. Mm. It's actually a 30% AHA plus BHA 2% peeling solution. It is harsh. Did you just say 30%? <laughs> it is, yeah, I have to say this item, right? Okay, my skin is sensitive. Uh, that's why I feel that it's slightly tinging when I apply. I think you're, you're going to kill me today, right? Hey, but I tell you this thing, right? Sometimes when I realize my shit mask doesn't do any... Uh -huh results right okay. there's no result right i know it's time to use this because there might be a layer of dead skin uh, okay understand. that is pretty much built up over the weeks okay so yeah. so what does this product actually do it's basically a peeling solution so it's very okay it's pretty straightforward you clean your face okay apply leave it on for around 10 minutes depending on how well your skin could take it okay the thing about all this it's a little bit products, sticky right? yeah. i just want to ask storage wise how would uh, you avoid the sunlight this? Okay. Uh, avoid damp places. Okay. Uh, don't I put it in my bathroom? But I kind of like tuck it in one dark corner. You should put it on the tip so it's easier for you to apply. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're very gentle, <laughs> yeah. This is like what? 
A. It's thirty percent, eh. Okay. Hey. Really, really, just apply it maybe across this area. No, this is very little. This is only for my chin. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just apply like that. I, I just. You can spread it across. It's like a mask, you know. Oh. <laughs> it's like a pew. Huh? But gently, if you feel the tingling sensation is too much or the stinging effect is really way too much, uh, you can tone it down a little bit. Once again, I'm the very... Go big or go home. Yeah, so yeah, I... You can feel the tingling sensation. You can, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I applied the AHA peel over at this portion, which I realized that this is the perfect part to test the product because um, I always have this problem when I put like foundation over here, at the end of the day, it cakes. Mm. Yeah, so um, no matter how I plan to uh, exfoliate, I think the problem persists. Is it a lot brighter? I, I thought I can see okay, some I brightness. Is it? I should say for this area or such huh? a small area, it's hard to tell. Yeah, ideally, possibly you got to do the whole face. Then you would you would actually tell the difference. Yeah, but I'm worried lah. You can tell the thirty yeah. percent. But but just on this portion itself, texture wise, it feels good. So if it's meant to for cell renewal as well as exfoliate, then I say it definitely did what it's supposed to do. And how mm -hmm. much is it again? Oh, this is cheap. Eight USD. Okay, so you have one more product that you want to share. I have it, and this brand it's. So fancy! It's called Bybee! And I have the same thing as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> there we go! Okay, so this one, it's a relatively new product. I have to say, um, it's definitely very affordable. This is possibly about 20 USD. Okay. Because in Sing, this is about $23. I'm guessing maybe around 20 USD. Um, I bought this actually at um, Sephora. And I've tried a lot of um, retinol products and I realized the problem for me is that it caused me to have flaky skin. Yep. The skin dries very quickly. It gets flaky. And it's always around this, this area. area. Yeah, right. Yeah, that I get that. So I realized um, maybe it's not for me. So when I saw this, this is actually a plant derived retinol. This is typically what I do. Maybe like two drops. Mm -hmm. That's it. Seems I'm at it. I might as well. Okay. Okay, I usually use this at night. Oh, please help yourself. I have. Oh. Do you remember uh, previously we actually tried the other facial oil, which is also a naturally derived retinol, Sunday Riley? Oh, yes! Yeah. We both bought that oil as well, the blue oil. Yeah, you bought, right, as well? I bought, I bought. I finished so, the tube. To me, right, this is like a cheaper alternative for sure. Um, in terms of results, mm, I would say. Pretty much the same. Yeah. Definitely. I'm just gonna go back to very quickly what you talk about Sunday Riley. So I, I use um, that is it Luna Luna Sea or Luna Oil or something? <laughs> Luna sea. Yeah, Luna, Luna Sea is a bad <laughs> oops. A uh, uh, Luna Oil. So that that particular blue oil, right? That was the one that created that whole flaky situation for me. Yes. Yeah, and I mentioned. had a lot of bumps after that and I realized that that's a little too strong. Yeah. So when I found this initially, I was using just like twice a week mm -hmm. and I realized that it actually um, gives me an instant glow. That's one. And the next morning, the glow continues. Mm -hmm. So lately, I've just added on something to my regime on top of this, which is um, so my night cream. Okay. I will actually oh. top this about two drops into my night cream and now I'll do a little concoction and then I'll apply on my skin. Okay. I, I guess for the really yeah. dry skin, it works very well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've tried that sort of approach. Mm. That means having facial oil yeah. and cream before. Yeah. <sighs> How did that work for you? Actually, it didn't really cause any problem. Okay. It's just that after a while, I stopped using it. I, I, I stopped doing that. Okay, okay. For no particular reasons. Yeah. I, it's just laziness. So. Yeah, I think it's just lazy. <laughs> you know, after all, yeah. he only has one late night, but still very lazy. Okay, <laughs> So if you're going to try any of the six mm. products that we have featured today, do leave a comment down below and share your experience with us. And if you have any products that you want us to try out for you, please also leave a comment below and yeah, we'll get that going for you. Yeah, so remember to hit the subscribe and the bell button. And we'll see you next time with our new faces. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yay. We're done. Oh my god.